Sports Tourism rebounds in Las Vegas. Nate, McCarran Airport trying to fill positions. They sure are. Those positions left vacant by the pandemic. And our Hector Mejia is live at McCarran Airport talking about the travel demand and keeping up with those jobs there, too. Hey, Hector. Yeah, hey there guys, good morning. The Department of Aviation is holding a career expo later on today at 10 a.m. with dozens of positions that are either open right now or in the works to become open in the next few weeks. But soon, tomorrow, Terminal 3 will reopen. We're standing along Sunset across the street. We have a view of the entire runway. And way out there, we have the 14 gates at Terminal 3 that have been closed for quite some time. And that's all changing tomorrow when the airport reopens half of those gates. McCarran Airport says travel demand is getting close to pre-pandemic levels of 2019 three and a half getting close to four million monthly passengers. That's the latest number from uh, the airport. They also tell us WestJet came back earlier this month. Next is Air Canada in August and then low cost carrier Flair in the fall. The airport says they need workers. So today from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. They're hosting the free career expo inside Terminal 3. Jobs in administration, custodial, customer service, parking. And here's what Chris Jones with the airport says led to some of these vacancies. When COVID kicked in, we lost a lot of people through early retirement. We lost some people through attrition. We really weren't able because of budgetary issues to, to begin resuming hiring people until the 1st of July when our new fiscal year kicked in. So we've also learned the last time the airport planned a career event this large was back in 2019, I'm sorry, 2012, to open Terminal 3. It's not a fair where you get offered a job on the spot. It's more to really connect with recruiters and learn about the positions with the Department of Aviation. And you can actually check out what they have available by going to McCarran.com. And again, that expo is from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. today inside Terminal 3. And if you're worried about parking, they will validate for that for you today. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.